Hi, I'm Soren Kaplan, co-founder of Praxi, and I wanted to give you an overview of what manufacturing digital transformation is all about. We hear that buzzword a lot, but I'm going to kind of bring it down to earth by talking about how, how organizations, manufacturing plants, manufacturing organizations can really look at digital transformation from a very practical standpoint, probably doing a lot of what you're already doing today. So here's a very simple framework. You've got strategy at the top level of your organization. So it's all of your business strategy, your strategic objectives, how you think about your key results and your KPIs and all the things that you want to measure to make sure you're successful at the most strategic level. That's at the top level. Then what you've got are all of the different areas in which you can pull those levers to achieve those objectives. So in terms of anchoring manufacturing digital transformation in a lot of the methodologies that are already used in manufacturing, we can break down the approaches to transforming digitally by looking at the things you're already doing, lean, Six Sigma, agile, for example. So within the lean world, for example, you will have safety, health, environment, things you're already doing there. So looking at how you can manage your incidents, safety incidents better through digital technology, looking at how you can create inspection gates or look at environmental compliance or project management and making sure everything you do is not in Excel files or on whiteboards or huddle boards that are manual, but that really are digitized leveraging technology that eventually you can kind of connect together in workflows as well as artificial intelligence and kind of use the power of what's happening out there now with AI. So environmental health and safety. Then you've got the people side of things. You want to look at work instructions, making sure everybody knows what they're doing. You want to look at job competency assessments and rotation management and just-in-time training a lot of the e-learning that we are doing these days can be connected right to that manufacturing line or point of work. So you've got people as well in terms of the focus of transformation. Of course, you've got quality. Quality is so fundamental to manufacturing. You've got all the DMAIC checklists and roadmaps and quality management systems and A3 project management, quality function deployment. You wanna make sure all that is digitized as well. And then when it comes to Six Sigma as well, especially the responsive manufacturing, production monitoring, and on alert systems, standard operating procedures, are all those digitized? Not in cloud drives using spreadsheets, but really through workflow software and, and connecting what you're doing on the shop floor to measure it and make sure that then the top floor and the executive suite understands what's going on and can kind of drive projects through that. Then you have cost maintenance, engineering, and continuous improvement through Agile, Kaizen, all your innovation, continuous improvement stuff, help desk ticketing, um, preventive maintenance, that kind of thing. So you really want to look at how your Agile processes then can be digitized so that it's all seamless it's, and you move fast. And then finally, order orchestration. Obviously, if you're a manufacturing organization, you want to kind of know what orders are coming in so you can plug, put out the, the products that are going to um, satisfy those orders. So all of that order supply, usually those are where areas where people have already digitized to a certain extent, but you know, really order management, supplier quality management, um, and uh, RFP vendor evaluation, those kinds of things you want to kind of digitize. It is really important, though, also to look at the bottom of this framework because all your data should be connected digitally and woven together, not just through, through dashboards, but all your processes should be generating insights and data and then move, putting, you know, connecting that data into those dashboards so that you've got full visibility to everything you're doing back at that executive level so you can orchestrate and manage and drive your manufacturing digital transformation.